Okay, we're going to Bramble. So from what Cupid was saying, it seems like Buster approaches Ridley quite a bit differently than the Caterpie Ridley we saw just a few games ago. And even just looking at it right now, yeah, Buster McNutt's movement has always been crazy. I've seen every character he plays, he just moves around the stage so unbelievably fast, and his Ridley seems to be no different. Yeah, he's playing this like a completely different character than Caterpie. Obviously, that massive Nair is still there, but he's playing such a different game here. That's a big conversion. Yep, Softney takes... doesn't take it. Ridley... Ooh, barely grabbed the flag. Cupid was a little bit early with his get-up attack there. Up throw knee. Oh, up throw Nair. I guess, yeah, the Nair makes sense there. I don't think the up, uh, the knee would have quite killed. Ooh, the dash back F smash takes the first stock. Buster is up very slightly. Let's see if we can get any extra credit here, or if... I think that F throw was probably a misinput, but it happened. Up throw knee. Yep, yeah, that's going to take the stock. Oh. You know, F smash into Raptor Boost is a series of inputs you're allowed to price this Falcon. I don't know if I traditionally recommend it, but it did work out for Cupid here. That down angled up B to snap ledges Ridley seems really good because his uh, up B only goes four angles, so it's be very consistent if you can just get the spacing to go there. You don't have to worry about messing up your angles or anything. Big Nair. It was not a big Nair, I lied. He got reversaled off of it, actually. Oh, that hitbox was active for a long time and it managed to stuff out the stomp from Falcon. Yeah, those wave drops from, from Buster are crazy as always. He doesn't miss them, and every character in this game gets so much momentum off of them. That's up throw knee. That is a very consistent kill confirm on Ridley. That is one very solid thing Falcon does have in his matchup, is if Ridley's at kill percent, he doesn't struggle to end out that stock at all. What is, what is this music that's playing in the background? It sounds like we're fighting a Dark Souls boss. That's kind of one way to look at this matchup, you know, this Captain Falcon, not really analogous to any Dark Souls weapon, but you know, Ridley's, you know, like a dragon, you know? It's... Oh, that's a deep off. Oh, strong knee takes it, and he barely makes it back, so we're good. Last stock. Cupid is behind here, but it is not impossible. Captain Falcon does hit like a truck. Case in point. Though, so that's gonna be the stock. Holy shit, what a combo. Take game. Three, Running back to Bramble. I honestly thought that might be what was going to happen. It felt like a very neutral stage for this matchup. Both characters get a lot of use out of the side platforms. And I'm sure Buster likes the wave drops for, you know, approaching. Or mixing up like that with Fair. Wow. Ooh, the jab, jab, grab from Cupid. Ooh, big tech chase into Stomp. Up air sent forward. I was expecting reverse up air. Not quite... That F tilt sent at a very bad angle. I think Cupid was trying to dash back. He hits both of those techs, but it isn't enough, and Spock is taken by back air. Oh. That's a. Oh! Barely whips the F smash. That might have been Spock if it would have hit. Ooh! Big knee, barely catching his foot and sending him right to the blast zone. F tilt to stuff out with a nair, down tilt back air. Big tech chase, a lot of damage here. Falcon is getting juggled. Ooh, goes for the up smash read, but doesn't quite get it. Big tech chase. 
we're going under the stage, and uh, hits gets the tech. Both players managed to make it back, but oh, misses the stomp after the slight stool. Ridley going very high, gets up e. That is a stock. Cupid is doing some area orthodox options here, but they all seem to be working out for him. Oh, drops too low. I'm not sure what happened there, but an unfortunate way to go. Oh, the up throw into up smash for the tech chase. Grabs him out of the raptor boost. That is the second time that that has happened to him. I wonder if those grabs are intentional or if they're sort of just happen to work things. Yes, uh, Ridley's side view, I uh, want to say it's called Space Pirate Watch. It's a very good move in most matchups for him, but especially in matchups against fast fallers who don't necessarily have the best recoveries. Ridley's edge guarding is insane with his up throw up air. He's going to take it. It's like I was saying, his edge guarding is insane with stuff like Nair and Bear. But so one side B drags you straight to the ledge and throws you off the stage at a pretty nasty angle. They can be very hard to come back around his giant circle of a hitbox when he presses the A button in the air. Big tech chase. We're not gonna have a repeat of last game here. Barely gets the ledge. I honestly didn't think he was going to. Cupid makes it back to ledge. This game is dead even. Big stomp. Oh, doesn't get the tech chase. Stomp to me is not gonna take it. Care is yeah, that's gonna do it. Two O Cupid. Lee and Buster have been playing a lot of friendlies on nightly lately, so we have to hope that muscle memory doesn't affect him negatively when playing uh, Beta Ganon because they are very different characters. Big back egg. Put the eye on the up air to avoid getting need there. Makes it to life. We'll keep it with the reverse up air since Buster off stage. Oh, Buster retaliates with the backer. They are both on stage. Oh, never mind. Wizard split. Is that going to take the stock? Not quite. But that fair is going to do it. And that wasn't the best DI from Cupid there. I think he was trying to get back on stage. Up air waking the up air takes it from Cupid. We are at a dead even game. 3 to 3. Well, big Nair conversion there. It's the tech chase. Ooh, off stage going very low. Weird scramble, but both people are back on stage safely. Doesn't quite get the Raptor boost pick up there. Barely avoids the Wizards, but I don't think either player was actually ready for that to not connect. Oh, that's going to be stock. There's no way he's making it back from the depths of hell down there. Ooh. Weird F tilt, but it did work out. Ooh, Buster tried to read a jump out of shield there, but Cupid did not bite. That's going to be stomp to up B, which barely doesn't do it. Again, and is pretty heavy. That dash attack is going to do it, though. Ooh, barely clipped by the last hit of that in there. Ganon's there is a very long-lasting hitbox, and can be quite hard to avoid sometimes, as you saw there.
Ooh, the invincibility on Ganon float is enough to get him through the Falcon kick there. Ooh, the up air knee is gonna take it. Cupid going very low out there, going very deep off stage. And uh, forward air, and that is gonna do it. That was yet another dead even situation. I stock. And... Ooh. Ooh, almost an unfortunate SD from Cupid there, but he makes it back. Reverse knee. A buster off stage. Uh, at a much worse position than Cupid right now, but the game still could go either way. That is going to seal the set out. It's 3-0 Cupid.